This is an absolutely incredible scene here. This matchup brings total annihilation and bodies everywhere. Well, this is a dangerous situation that goes far beyond defeating your opponent. This form of combat brings competitors irreparable harm. The goal should be just to make it out alive. It wasn't the height or distance that caused the damage, but they certainly contributed. And what a maneuver we just saw there. Up and... Oh, knee right to the spine. Look at this. Snap suplex. As impressive as that was, it has to take something out of a smaller competitor. The cell match has come down to some kind of high-risk maneuver. From your point of view, is that the surest way to success? Just as many have come down to a creative use of a table or chair. The cell and your opponent will present so many opportunities. I think you need to stay nimble, stay open-minded, and not go high-risk unless you absolutely need to. The legendary Hell in a Cell structure, home to some of the most iconic, brutal moments in WWE history. And as dangerous as it is, Hell in a Cell can also be an opportunity for a superstar to truly make a name for themselves. Yeah, when they see that structure, they see immortality made manifest. A chance to write their name in the history books. Saxton, on the other hand, I can already see him starting to sweat. Up and... Oh, knee right to the spine! Ooh. Look at this. Oh, nice. Amazing how smooth that looked. Must be hitting the weight room hard if you could suplex that much weight. Not even the most unstable of WWE superstars would say they enjoy being inside Hell in a Cell. But when you're inside of it, you still have to carry yourself as if you belong there. Not like you want to escape it. That will truly intimidate your competition and make it clear they're locked in there with you. Here we go, guys. Hell in a Cell. Only way you win is by pinfall or submission. Nowhere to escape. The Cell designed to torture, designed to contain, truly nowhere to run. There's a lot of hard ways to land, but that might be the hardest. Look at this. Boom. Nice. Up and... Oh, knee right to the spot. the suplex. That was a massive suplex. There's core strength, and then there's what we just saw. It is almost impossible to prepare for Hell on Earth, but Corey, what is the key to coming out on top in this one? You gotta do things you never thought you'd have to do before, that you never wanted to do before, because this is an environment like no other. The competitors must channel a primitive barbarian. The 20-foot steel structure looming over these competitors as this match officially gets underway. Hell in a Cell is one of the most devious matches ever devised. We've seen this demonic structure chew up and spit out superstar after superstar. Tonight should be no different. I'll just leave it at this. Nobody comes into a match hoping to get chucked around like that. Snap suplex. Up and... Oh, knee right to the spine. Look at this. Dishing out a suplex. That had to have taken an incredible amount of leverage to pull off on someone that's so much bigger. Is there a special secret to winning a Hell in a Cell match? You have to be willing to leave your humanity behind. Become the most vicious possible version of yourself because that's what it takes to win inside Hell in a Cell. Oh, that'll rattle you. Orton measuring. <laughs> 